Finally, the hotel is finished. Mikey, didn't I tell you to go upstairs? Mom, I just wanted to know what you were doing down here. You ruined our house. No, Mikey, I'm saving our house. If I hadn't turned this place into a hotel, we wouldn't be able to afford the house bills anymore. There's something that I wasn't able to tell you and your sister, but I can't talk about it right now. Okay, Mom. Uh, I couldn't tell them that I lost some of my hours at my job and so I wasn't going to be able to pay all the bills for the castle so I had no other choice but to turn this place into a hotel. I think it looks great though I stayed up all night. This is what people see when they first enter the hotel. This is where they check in. I will have Mikey or Michelle working at the front desk while I interview for a real employee. This is our royal room here, the royal hotel room. This is where our guests are staying. We only have two guests right now. Let me get out of here. All right, this is the movie theater. We have lots of great amenities here at the hotel for our guests. And upstairs is the gourmet dining restaurant, which I will probably be cooking for myself. So yes, and our guests are downstairs. Wait, I should probably start their breakfast. Michelle, Michelle, please come out here. I need to speak with you. Michelle! Mom! What, what happened to our house? Mom! What's going on? I don't understand. Michelle, calm down, okay? We, um, we had to turn this place into a hotel. What? But, no! Mom, I can't believe this. How could you do something like that? Michelle, I don't have to explain anything to you. I am the mother, okay? And mothers make the rules and, and fathers do too, okay? Okay, mom. <laughs> I don't like this. Even though it looks really fancy. I still don't like it. Michelle, just, just, can you please help me with breakfast? We have two guests downstairs. <gasps> we already have two guests? Mom, what? Yes, Michelle, we already have two guests. You know what? I can't deal with you right now. I will go and make the breakfast myself while you get a better attitude about this young lady. There is no changing what is happening here. We are never going back until we make enough money to like stop running the hotel, but that'll take a while. All right, let's see. Those people downstairs are paying $250 per person per night. That's 500 a day. That's $500 a day. So of course they are going to get a delicious gourmet breakfast consisting of eggs and bacon. Yummy. Mom, eggs and bacon is not, that's not a fancy breakfast. It's kind of basic. Get off of the counter, Michelle. I don't care if it's basic. Move, get away. I'm doing something. Okay, mom. All right, uh, let's see. Should I set the table up here? I don't know. Or should I just take them their food? Oh, I know. I forgot to place the placemats. I will have to make some more eggs and bacon. Michelle, watch that food over there, okay? Okay, Mom, I got it. All right, let's go and place some placemats here. And let's go see if our guests are up yet. It's really early, and it's the weekend, too, so the kids will be going to school today. All right, let us place one mat right here. And we will be placing another mat right here. I should probably place a mat for the kids to eat too, but uh, you know how it is. I'll do that later. Okay. Oh, Michelle, didn't I tell you to watch the food? I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't mean to. Really? You didn't mean to? Because it seems to me like you're just trying to sabotage this entire thing. No, I'm not. Michelle, just get off the counter and go to your room. Okay, Mom. Fine. I can't believe she would do something like that. 
She was standing right next to the eggs and bacon. There's no way that she couldn't have seen it burning. <sighs> this is... Okay. Let's make this for the third time. Mikey, go and check on our guests, okay? Okay, Mom. I'll go check on Mom. All right. What else? What else? Oh, I need to also make some flyers today. There we go. Let's grab this. Man, this morning routine at the hotel is so stressful. Let's place this. Okay, let's make another plate of eggs and bacon. Come on. All right, now that I've cooked the food for our hotel guests, I actually need to go and freshen up myself. I didn't get any chance to sleep last night, so my breath smells like cabbage. So now I'm gonna have to go into Michelle's bathroom and brush my teeth. Whew, but there's no time to sleep now. Michelle, you left your water running. And was Michelle just standing in the hallway when I told her to go to her room? Michelle? Get in here. I'm coming, Mom. Yes? I'm gonna have to use your restroom, okay, sweetie? Mom, why can't you use yours? Because our hotel guests are staying in my room. It was the only available room that we had before I gave the place a makeover last night. Ugh. Of course I'll clean up after myself, Michelle. I am not you. Yeah, okay. All right, let's brush my teeth. Now let's go downstairs and talk to the guests. I'm gonna take a shortcut. Mom, you said we're not supposed to jump down there. I know, but I am the mother and I can do what I wanna do. Okay then, I'm gonna jump down there too, Mom. No, Michelle! Don't you ever do that again. If you do that again, you'll be grounded. Do you understand me, young lady? Yes, I understand, Mom. Oh, I'm gonna go check out the hotel rooms. No, Michelle! You know what? I don't have time for this. Just whatever. Um, uh, hello? Hi. It's me, room service. Hello? Hi, uh, how, how can I help you? This hotel is better than I thought. It was, it was really nice. Yes. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Oh my goodness. Your husband is stuck in the roof. I don't have insurance. Um, sir, one second. I'll try and get you down from there. Help me. Help me! What kind of hotel is this? What kind of place is this? Sorry, sir. I'm trying. I'm not going to get him down from there. Sir, you hang in there, okay? I'm going to sue this hotel. No, no, no. You don't need to sue this hotel. It's a mistake, dude. Did you just call me dude? No, I mean, it's a mistake, sir. Just, oh, man. Uh, oh. I know exactly what I can do. Um, okay, sir, uh, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I am going to sue you, lady. Listen, <sighs> okay, there's breakfast upstairs. How about you guys go and have some breakfast while you think about this, okay? Sure, you're lucky you're the only hotel here in Reap City. Yes, I know. <laughs> My husband is stuck on the roof. Ma'am, it's okay, it's okay. He's he's okay now, and um, he went upstairs to have breakfast, so you go up there too, okay? It is gourmet breakfast, it's freshly cooked, and I think you'll really enjoy it. <laughs> okay. All right, while they're upstairs eating their gourmet breakfast that I cooked for them, I guess I should probably clean up the room here and talk to Mikey and Michelle. They seem like they're really not okay with this idea, but... We don't really have any other choice. <sighs> all right, let's get to cleaning up. This is the next part of the routine here at the hotel. I have to make all the beds. All right, and let's make this bed as well. And let's turn off the television because it's wasting electricity that I have to pay for. Um, let's open up the blinds. All right. Whew, okay. And let's go and straighten up the restroom our guests. Man, they are very messy, but uh, oh well. Okay, Mikey, 
Mikey, over here. Yes, Mom? What's going on now? Um, well, did you eat something for breakfast? No, the people are upstairs, and I'm going to go out there and talk to them. They're strangers. Stranger danger, Mom. Yes, Mikey, I know, stranger danger, but they're hotel guests, okay? Just, just, okay, fine. I'm going to bring you some food down here. Stay by the front desk. If someone walks in here to stay at the hotel, you just check them in, okay? You you check the computer to make sure that we have space, which we do, and then you write it down in the book, and then you charge them $250 a night, okay? Oh, okay, Mom. Fine. All right, let's go see how our guests are doing upstairs. Michelle had better not be messing with them. Oh, hello there. How are you all enjoying your food? Is everything to your liking? Mm, yes, it is fine. Yes, it is actually quite lovely. I apologize for getting so mad at you earlier. It's just, it's been a really stressful time. Yes, ma'am, I completely understand. And hopefully you guys reconsider and you, you know, give us a good review. You know? If everything goes well before we leave this place and check out, then yes, I will give you a great review and I won't sue you. Okay, thank you. That sounds great. Enjoy your breakfast. Alright, as long as nothing goes wrong for the rest of their stay, we are good to go. Mikey, I have to talk to you about something. What do you have to talk to me about, Michelle? Do you like our house being a hotel? Because I, for one, do not. I don't like it at all, little brother. Yeah, I don't like it either, Michelle. What are we going to do about this? Oh, I have a plan to get those two people out of here and make sure that no one else goes to visit this hotel so that we can get our house back. Are you in, little brother? Yeah, I'm in. Thank you for watching my channel. Pretzel et so. Pretzel et so. So it's all